our world today. My name is Motaz Hamdi and today I'll be sitting down and having a chat to two of the cast members and the director of the highly contagious state theatre company production, Pinocchio. Let's go have a chat. Hello, I'm joined by Rose Myers, the creative genius behind the <laughs> state theatre company production at Pinocchio. How are you going, Rose? Very well, thank you. It was really fun taking a known story but finding out a contemporary twist on it. But uh, what, what we thought was this time we're going to do a show and we're going to write it from the ground up. Pinocchio is nearly 200 years old. Yeah. So we looked at a lot of different stories and looking for one that we, you got to kind of be burning to tell a story. Like number one, Pinocchio is a bad boy <laughs> and that's a lot of fun. Yeah. And number two, it's about the idea of being real, which mm. is like kind of a great idea. What does it mean to be real in today's world? Is mm. a good kind of question to explore in yeah. a piece of art. Our way of working is just very collaborative. Mm -hmm. We all get our ideas really roughly. We come together about 18 months out mm -hmm. and we just do a workshop for a couple of days where we like got bits of scenes, Jonathan's drawing, the actors are throwing in ideas, we're trying scenes on the floor really roughly and going, you know, this is really gold or mm -hmm. that's actually really boring or, you know, how are we going to stage it? And we're just all jamming ideas basically. You play Stromboli and you play Geppetto, uh, Pinocchio's father. We work with the writer and, and Rosemary just um, developing things and we always kind of throw things Things mm -hmm. in the mix like uh, Jeff is famous for uh, playing around with things and I play uh, especially in the last scene I always keep it open with um, with Pinocchio yeah. when he's a real boy so it's, it's a lot of fun whatever yeah. happened and that's the beauty of theatre in a sense. There's... After looking at a few different stories we kind of locked down on that one and Jonathan Oxlade the set designer was pretty pumped about doing it I think he yeah. liked a lot of the kind of ideas. The set was a hard one to crack because we want it to be ironic like it's kind of like a log it's made out of wood but then it's got a go a lot of places like it's got to be um a school a city sure. a shark yeah. which is my favorite and rose had the idea of the revolve and there's actually two revolves that kind of move around the centerpiece on the outside mm -hmm. so we were really lucky to have um the the whole a mock-up of of the set and the two revolves in rehearsal mm -hmm. from day one mm -hmm. and then just playing with it getting used to it was a big thing i've never worked with a revolve before so yeah. it was um an interesting experience yeah. And if we didn't have that um, from first day in rehearsal, it would have been very hard. Especially when you're breaking the fourth wall like I do mm -hmm. in my first scene, you yeah. just sort of turn and suddenly you're ref you know, referring to the audience. Mm -hmm. Within that, you can play around. And um, the demographic of the audiences have been quite different. Mm -hmm. I've always tried to push the envelope a bit with, with Rose yeah. because it, it says it's for 8 to 108. But um, sometimes Rose will come back and go, well, no. Yeah. Every night, for example, the opening song that I have, mm -hmm. it just depends where it takes you. Yeah, sure. You know, it's, it's the same format, but it's how the song want to be sung in this moment, mm -hmm. which is mm -hmm. that relationship that is immediate, which is theatre. Script is being refined. It's even refined a little bit during the season, and mm -hmm. um, the set design was kind of being refined right up to the last minute because the actors, I mean, actors are really playful. I didn't have an audition for, um, for Pinocchio. Um, I had an audition for The Wizard of Oz. And yeah, she pretty much came to me and said, I want you to play Geppetto. And of course I said no. <laughs> <laughs> um. No, and the same for me too. I auditioned for Wizard of Oz. The director is really asking the actor to just give us anything. You know, and we take stuff, we throw other stuff out, but it's you, you need the performers there to just be coming up with ideas okay. and to look silly. I mean, you're in a room, but you're all doing exactly the same thing, and it's like, oh, no, OK, try that again. We didn't want to do Pinocchio as a puppet. We mm -hmm. wanted to do him as a, have a real actor. Mm -hmm. But we thought the cricket would be great as a puppet and then also to bring those other elements because the set kind of becomes a big puppet when it becomes the shark and... Um, just wanted to have Sam's skill set in the mix because of the way we work, it's very collaborative. And, and it's just a, the sheer matter of time, mm -hmm. you know. I, I'm changing characters and going down the pit, playing the viola, going down, playing the drums, coming back, being Geppetto. So I'm running around all the time, so it just really focuses because you just forget one item and then there you go. You sort of look at someone going, well, is that the same guy that's, you know, like mm. 30 seconds ago played that? Kids are going, weren't you in the pit <laughs> as well? And yeah. I mean, Illyrio's in the costume playing the drum. You might remember Pinocchio as a small wooden boy who told a lot of lies. To be honest, not a lot's changed, except for the fact that everything's changed. See, now he's telling those lies on stage with lights, beautiful projections, a great set design and a great ensemble cast. You should check this show out. It's suitable for the whole family and it's coming near you, Melbourne. Details are below. I've been Motaz Hamdi and this has been Our World Today. Mm -hmm.